in this lecture we will see what is a characteristic function in real analysis so first of all we will see which function is called as a characteristic function so before define characteristic function i would like to draw a venn diagram suppose u is universal set universal set and a set a which is a subset of this universal set u so according to venn diagram this is uh, suppose a universal set denoted by this box u and uh, this is a circle denoted for set a now this remaining part of the box is nothing but complement of a or you can say that u minus a so this is a, a complement now if i will take x belongs to universal set u then there is a possibility that either x belongs to a or x belongs to a complement matlab ye x element ya to is a ka member hoga ya a dash ka member hoga so isliye function jo hai suppose i am defining a function f whose domain is capital u and whose codomain or range is a set of containing two elements 0 and 1 so if i will take f of x then there is a possibility that x is either belonging to a or x belonging to a complement and therefore f of x may having two answers that is 1 or 0 i will get f of x equal to 1 if this x belongs to a and uh, i will get f of x equal to 0 if x belongs to a complement or x does not belongs to a so this type of function is called as a characteristic function or sometimes it is called as a indicator function so this is uh, uh, notationally denoted by chi of a so chi of a of x is equal to 1 when x belongs to a and it is equal to 0 when x belongs to a complement so this is a definition of characteristic function now see this diagram so here is a, in red color it is a square two dimensional square and this is our universal set and in this universal set a is the subset and if x belongs to that a then it will give you value 1 so ye jo aapko three dimensional uh, part dikh raha hai uh, that is called as a uh, that is uh, uh, it indicates all the values of x belonging to a and the remaining this uh, part red jo hai that is the value giving 0 it does not belongs to a so it is a three dimensional picture model to understand characteristic or indicator function now we will see one theorem regarding this characteristic function if capital a and b are subsets of universal set u then prove that characteristic of a union b is equal to maximum uh, between characteristic of a characteristic of b so to prove this theorem uh, we will consider uh, this is the now one starting proof if x belongs to a union b then we know that x belongs to a union b then characteristic of function over a union b of x is equal to 1 right so if x belongs to a union b its meaning is either x belongs to a or x belongs to b that means then we can say that then chi of a a chi or a of x is equal to 1 or chi b of x is equal to 1 
so in either case uh, whatever the value i am getting that should be 1 and therefore the maximum value of both these functions is equal to 1 therefore a uh, maximum value of this chi function over a of x and chi function over b of x that is what equal to 1 and therefore from uh, that means if x belongs to a union b then we have proved that characteristic function over a union b is equal to maximum of characteristic function over a or characteristic function over b so this is a case we have proved when x belongs to a union b now we will see another case where x does not belongs to a union b so i am considering if x does not belongs to a union b then the characteristic function over a union b of x is equal to 0 now what is the meaning of x does not belongs to a union b its meaning is x belongs to the complement of a union b so it is a complement so according to de morgan's law x belongs to a complement uh, de morgan's law may uh, union ka intersection ho jayega and this is b complement so this implies x belongs to a complement and because it's intersection the x belongs to b complement and we will know that when x belongs to a complement characteristic function over a of x is equal to 0 and uh, when x belongs to b complement characteristic function over b of x is also equal to 0 so in any case uh, the maximum value of these two functions is equal to 0 so we can uh, write this as a maximum value of this chi of a and chi of b is equal to 0 so here i am getting 0 here i am getting 0 therefore in this case also characteristic function over a union b is equal to maximum of characteristic function of a comma characteristic function of b so this is a uh, end of this result now we'll see another theorem if a and b are subsets of universal set u then prove that characteristic function over a intersection b is equal to minimum of characteristic over a comma characteristic function over b so in this case we'll start like this if x belongs to a intersection b then characteristic function over a intersection b of x is equal to uh, what 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 will be the answer the answer is this is one okay now what is the meaning of x belongs to a intersection b its meaning is x belongs to a and x belongs to b so when x belongs to a then characteristic over a of x is equal to 1 and characteristic function over b of x is equal to also 1 so there is a word and therefore the value we are getting that is 1 and 1 therefore the minimum value of 1 and 1 is again 1 therefore minimum value of this chi a and chi over b is equal to 1 and therefore uh, in this case we have proved that chi over a intersection b is equal to minimum value of chi of a and chi of b now we will see the another case here we have seen x belongs to a intersection b now we'll see what happened when x does not belong to a intersection b so let us uh, suppose that if x does not belongs to a intersection b then the characteristic function over a intersection b of x is equal to 0 
Now, what is the meaning of x does not belongs to A intersection B? Its meaning is x belongs to complement of A intersection B. Now, according to De Morgan's law, x belongs to A complement union B complement. So, its meaning is x belongs to A complement or x belongs to B complement. So in, in, in this first case, when x belongs to a complement, characteristic function over a of x is equal to 0 or characteristic function over b of x is equal to 0. So this is or that means either I will get 0 or chi of a equal to 0 or chi of b equal to 0. So in both the cases, if I will consider minimum value of chi of a and chi of b then its minimum value is 0 therefore uh, we have proved in this case also chi of a intersection b is equal to minimum of chi of a and chi of b so this is end of this result